today I'm going to show you how to create this mixed media animated GIFs in Canva. So firstly, I'm going to take you through my creative uh, adventures <laughs> in how I came about to discover this beautiful style of graphic design. Um, I saw it somewhere on Instagram, of course, and I didn't really know how to explain it or describe it to get the inspiration. So for me, I interpreted um, the different combinations of uh, uh, styles of graphics as mixed media graphic design and Lord behold, bam, I found it. So I went on a rampage. I went down a rabbit hole of just understanding, getting inspired, and really just observing the different intricacies of mixed media graphic design. And for me, I just love, love the contrast, the displacement, the layering of different visual design techniques, the bold colors, the hand illustrations, the doodles, the the markings, the mixes of iconography, um, illustrations with graphics and imagery. It is just wow. I, I think it's so fun. And what a great way to learn how to recreate something is by, of course, exploring it and drawing and extracting inspiration. So um, in this video, I'll probably take you through my thinking process and how I, um, how I get my inspiration and also how I recreate it. And I'm going to try and recreate it in Canva because it's, it's easy. <laughs> and so let's go. I, I'll, tell, I'll tell you where I, I landed first. So I was looking at this first picture here. I thought it was super, super cool. I loved the way that he's seated and the scratching and the markings all around him with the cool bold text in the background um it made it really pop so i really liked that and then i loved this girl sitting down with words layered over her um and just like that cutout effect with different like strokes or cutouts of paper behind her so i thought that was really cool and then i don't know why i just fell in love with this <laughs> i'm like cool it's hands and then cutouts of like speech bubbles cutouts of um newsletter articles and i love the you know the textured backgrounds and just i thought it was really cool and then i found this and i thought this was like oh yeah black and white pops of colors and then i found this and I'm like, that's exactly what we are going to recreate today because I really wanted to, to recreate something like this. I see this as a suite of like really cool, funky, illustrative icons, animated icons that you can use in your resources or assets that you're creating for your audience. And I just think it's just a little fun thing. So what I then do is I'm just going to screenshot this. So shout out to Lila. Thank you. Leela, Leela Bardenova, <laughs> absolute creative genius. So I'll then go into Canva and I'll just paste the graphic in there. And then I start dissecting. So I start dissecting the graphic. So here I can see the black and white images. And I'll, I will probably call this like the main image or the main graphic that's going to be used. And I'll make sure that that is in a chromatic color or a black and white color. Um, and then I love the abstract shapes surrounding the main image. Um, and it's either layered in the background or also specks of it is inside or on the, the main image itself. And I love the overlay of the topography. So overlay of text. Um, overlay of um, simple icons as well to perhaps draw attention to the main purpose of the whole animated GIF. And then I really love the little doodles and the little accents, the design accents, just to support the main graphic as well. Um, also, I am a self-taught designer, so all the words and the languaging and the terms and descriptors that I'm using is based on what I feel <laughs> and what I'm seeing. So if there are better ways to describe it, Pop it in the comments for me. Um, but I'm just bringing you on a journey so we can recreate something similar to this. So 
I have a 1080 by 1080 pixel canvas um, or page as what Canva calls them. So I have a page here um, and I'm just going to <clears throat> create another page. I'm just going to add another page and I'm going to first find perhaps a magnifying glass. So let's do that. I'm going to go into elements <clears throat> and I'm going to type in magnifying glass. I think you can already see the magnifying glass that I had back there. So I'm going to go to a photo. Um, I'm going to show you how to, let's find it. Ah, okay. Let's do something like this. So you have two options. You can find a graphic that has stuff in the background. So here we have a yellow background, but what you can do is edit image, background remover. Yeah. Oh. That doesn't look that great. Let's find another one. Delete. Maybe this one here. Okay. This, this is probably, this will work better. So click into the image, edit, remove background. So it just now is, it's a transparent PNG. Um, what else, what else can you do? Anyway, I just wanted to show you the remove background feature because I think it's pretty neat. But there is another magnifying glass that I want to use, which is this one here, because I think this is so cute. So let's do this one instead. And we are going to edit the image and go into Duotone. So select Duotone. And I'm going to go into Mono. Mono, Classic. Let's do classic. Classic looks cool. Um, now I am going to, I feel like I should add in some texture in the, inside the glass. So let's do, um, a circle frame, circle frame and click that. And I'm going to put in a, some crinkle paper. I use this one all the time. So perhaps in a photo, let's grab that and, oh, sorry, I have to tell you what I'm doing, right? So we have placed a photo um, onto the canvas or the page and I'm going to click and drag that into the circle frame and I'm going to just move that ever so slightly inside here just so it fits and I'm just going to move it to the back, right click, layer to the back. Yeah, I don't know why I'm vibing it. Looks cool. Um, and now I'm going to add in some abstract shape. So abstract. Oh, abstract blob. Let's add in the abstract blob. I'm going to find a nice abstract blob. Perhaps this one here. And maybe this one. And... Maybe just these two. I'm going to put them in my branding colors. So orange and orange. And I'm going to send these two to the back. So right click, layer, send to back. Oop. So now let's play around with the placement of the blobs. So maybe... Or maybe we just have one big blob. There you go. Make your life easier. Don't overcomplicate the blobs. Sometimes simple is best. So now let's get some doodles, hand-drawn doodles. And let's find something to your liking. So for me, I am going to... Maybe use this little squiggle here. And I love the magic recommendations from Canva. So when you're selecting a graphic, it automatically recommends a series of similar graphics that you've selected. So um, I am going to also add in perhaps, oh, why not, some hashtags and maybe... Nah. Hmm. <laughs> ah, yes. Let's do something like this. So I'm just going to move this down. Let's scale it. Something like this. 
I'm gonna make these markings just a bit smaller. I'm gonna rotate it. Hashtag. Should we add something a little bit more? Nah. All right, cool. Leave that as that. And then I'm going to add in any feedback. Let's do text. So go up to text. Let's find, let's say, seeking and hold alt click your object and just drag downwards and that would duplicate so very similar to adobe illustrator um seeking and then feed back oh back and then i'm going to go into effects and select background i'm going to change that background color to perhaps Maybe a blue. Oh no, maybe a purple. Yeah, let's do purple. And I am going to round it completely. Maybe spread that up to 70. I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller. And I'm going to right click copy style and paste that over to feedback. Oh. Truly, when you start learning shortcuts in any tool that you use, it just speeds up the design process. So highly recommend um, learning some tips and tricks and hacks in the tool that you're using. Um, I might just make this a bit disjointed because why not? And um, I'm going to add in a speech bubble with some dots. So... Let's go speech bubble. Let's do this one. And I might color that light purple. Oh, maybe try a frame because you'll be able to change the sizing, I think. Yeah. And then I might do a dark blue and then white dots. Why does that not look good? Oh, that's not the shape that I want. Uh, maybe this one. Oh, no. You know what? Let's create our own speech bubble because I'm not happy with that one. <laughs> so let's select a shape and I'm going to move that down. I'm going to change that color to something dark. And I'm going to find a triangle and I'm going to change that color to blue. I'm going to rotate that to like this. Make that smaller. Yeah. Okay, much better. <laughs> so you can recreate your own shape if you don't like the shape that's already pre-existing. So I'm going to group these two together. So control G. And then I'm going to add in my three white dots. You know what? I want to do it lilac. So I'm going to move that down. Move that across. Um, hold alt click drag across hold alt click drag across cool bananas okay so now you got your graphic I'm just gonna move this into the center ish to the best that you can let's see if it's centered great okay so now let's animate this what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate, so just right click on the slide and duplicate or control D if you're selecting here. Um, and we can maybe, okay, let's do this. All right, so I'm going to remove the dots on the second slide of the, the copied graphic. So I'm just going to delete it. So now we're going to make the dots 
animate and then I'm going to move and shuffle some shape, shapes around um, so that it can animate at the same time as well. So for now in the base layer, so making sure that the first object that you copy is the base layer, the foundation layer. So when you think of frame animations, this is your first frame and your base frame that you can copy from and then tweak along the way. And then I'm going to move this squiggle. I'm going to rotate that squiggle. I'm going to rotate this hashtag so slightly. I'm going to move this. Actually, I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to shift the background object just a little bit. So now it looks like this. See how it's, it's flickering? That's the effect that you want to go for. Now go into your first original object. Right click, duplicate, and just move that to the front. So now when you play it, it's animating. But I want the dots to be in a sequence. So see how it jumps from one to three? We're going to do one to two. And then I'm going to uh, duplicate the first one, move it to the front. And now it's three dots and I'm just going to move this, tweak the objects again. I'm going to keep the main magnifying glass the same, but I'm just going to tweak the abstract object a little bit as well. So when we play this, just move your right arrow so you can just see the sequence. So what I'm going to do now is making sure that the duration is on. So select duration. I'm going to change the timing of each of the slides to 0.1. You want to move it really fast. So I'm just going to hide this. Okay, so when we play it, there you go. Yay! Ooh, should we move the seeking feedback? Will that be a bit too much? Nah, it's never too much. Just move that slightly, move that down. Same, and then I'm going to move the fourth slide slightly and move that up. Alright, let's play. Play. Yay! Alright, let's download this. So, I'm um, going to your share download gif transparent background and from uh, <clears throat> page two three four and five and done and then download okay let's open it oh here's one that i did earlier because you know i always have to test my things but look at that and now you can put this on a background. So I'm going to add in some textured background. So let's go um, crinkle paper and maybe let's do like a, a light brown. Oh no, let's do this one. Oh, I get so excited. Okay. And then let's move that down. Ha oh, ha ha, look at that. So cool. Maybe we just reduce the transparency of the background just so it's a little bit textured. Let me know what you've created and tag me on socials because I'd love to see what kind of mixed media graphic design graphics you end up creating. Goodbye. Okay,